And my name is Ayan Mohamud Yusuf. I'm a Somali refugee based in here in Nairobi. Around, I came here when I was around five years, so I'm 24, 24 years here. <laughs> So actually, it's an honor to introduce Tawakal. Tawakal Arelo has, ha, is being established around 2015 and actually registered. And it's, in, it's located in the heart of Eastleigh called 6th Street, 5th Street, Nairobi, Kenya. So if I will talk about Tawakal, Tawakal is a grass, grass, grassroots in Arelo that empower refugees and provide a safe space to acquire skills on making them shift their position from being victim of circumstance to, to a productive member of our society. So, an establishment is very crucial. When we talk about and what Tawakal does is we provide various programs like psychosocial support, of which you know the, the depression, the trauma that a refugee actually went through. So we provide a psychosocial support for them, growing skills, self-development, self-resilience, and culture programs like shaping the culture norms and the culture that affecting the community itself. So when I talk about establishment, I know ensuring the, vo the voices and the perspectives of a refugee are central and in decision-making process and to make their needs addressed effectively. So when you, t when you had RLO, RLO is not a personal use, is not for maybe come for a forum like this and maybe get some retail reimbursement or food. It's about you have back there a society who is waiting, who actually some of them are not being and they don't, they can't, they don't have the chances of coming here and raise their issues. So we gather information, things, and issues that the uh, Kushaitic refugees facing. Let's say in Isli, we have Ethiopians, Oromos, and Somalis. So standing here, I'm a reflect of Ethiopian girl, Somali, and Oromo uh, woman. So when we talk about the aim first in ensuring the social integration among the refugees and uh, Ethiopians and are promoted through di positive dialogues and acceptance of culture. You see now we came for, from a far, far areas, far countries, knowing that if I come to Kenya, maybe I can get married to a Rwandan guy. Maybe my family should accept his culture. So the culture acceptance should be there. So, and um, our aim is to overcome pov po poverty, good health, psychosocial well-being, and to gain the regain lost confidence from the refugees. So I, if I'll talk maybe challenges or the background of our, of our, of our refugee community or an RLO is, for many refugees, fleeing from one country to another country comes with a, and, and adapting to a new culture comes with a, a lot of challenges that range from stigma, language barrier, lack of support in finding homes, maybe in education. So actually, being a refugee and extend beyond mere adap adaption so in, and uh, it's so traumatic. Some actually, it's a form of sexual exploitation, abuse, and restricted and gender roles that has been presented in the families and in the society. We have actually in women, if I talk about a woman, is that in, in Kushaitic women, they have these common issues. Actually, it's not limited to them, but most of them is in isolation, in isolation from and, and social isolation and exclusion. You can find maybe a girl who is in 8th Street, Isli, doesn't even, maybe 10 years, 15 years, doesn't even know where is 9th Street is. She stays at home till she gets married. It's like you are blindfolded. You can't go out, you can't do anything. So we are the voice to maybe people uh, to come out be independent and say whatever they maybe want to say. The other problem is identity challenges that are presented in the culture and religion and religious perspectives. 
lack of education, mental health challenges. So if I want to talk about the role of an RLO first is, is very vital. And uh, our role is not only to maybe to take some funds, but as a refugee leaders, what can we do to address the issues that our people is facing? How can we be so consistent on ensuring other people problem have been had by maybe the NGOs or INGOs. So coming here together, that shows us that maybe we want to change something and uh, maybe we'll have a fruitful in any solutions. And later on, I myself will go there, present what we were talking about, maybe when, what's the way forward, what will we do, maybe addressing, let's say, I don't have, I, I, that, this is not my personal issues, I don't have in, in, in issues of documentation, I have all my document, what about those who actually are out there, lack of document, lack of birth certificate, their kids are not enrolling to schools, what should I do to address that issues by coming and engaging and networking? Thank you very much.